What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival. And have you ever been with your buddy and you said, you know, hey man, let me get some 550 cord and he handles, hands you a knotted up mess. <laughs> I'm sure that's happened to all of us. I'm gonna teach you a, a method to keep your paracord organized, streamlined manner, and it's just a system that I like, I utilize, and it's gonna help you keep everything in a nice package and you can basically grab and go kit. What you're gonna need is a carabiner and obviously 550 cord. Now I like to use various different colors of 550 cord in, in the tactical color hues because if I'm out in the wilderness, I don't want nobody to see my paracord, right? But uh, the reason why I use different colored hues of the paracord is so that I can use different lengths for each hue, okay? So what I would do is, is how I would make this happen. So I have the different colors, right? Cut into different lengths. And this is an easy technique, right? So let's say I have the olive drab here. Let's say this is a eight foot length. Maybe I have 10, 12 foot, depending on what, six foot, depending on what color it is. And that's up to your discretion. But what we're gonna do is, to make this very simple and how you're, it's gonna keep your paracord from ever being knotted up. Right, so I have the paracord here. And all I'm gonna do is, is take the two ends, put together, tie an overhand knot, right? And so now I'm just gonna take the end, place it to the other end, right? And you could do this just however many times you need to. And then I'm gonna tie another overhand knot. So I'm making a hank of paracord, right? So I'm making a, a just a small hank of paracord, keeping it nice and organized. And now I can place that on my carabiner. And keeps keeps it not neat, nice, and orderly. So you see this, this is a pretty long strand of paracord. Now watch this, it's not gonna get knotted up, boom. And whenever I need to use it, it's not gonna get knotted up, it's not gonna get twisted up, okay? But the same thing, I take it, take the two ends, tie a simple overhand knot, cut it in half again, cut it in half again, and then tie another overhand knot in the middle of that hank, and boom. Now I place this on my paracord, I mean on my carabiner, sorry. So this will keep it from being knotted up, right? And whenever you need to use it. And yeah, you cut it into different lengths, but you can tie it together if you need a longer piece of paracord. And it's good because that way you're not just cutting up weird uh, sizes of paracord for whatever your needs are. Basically it helps you maintain it. You're not gonna cut it up so small that it's unusable for various tasks. So now you have the paracord. And the other benefit is this, you can hook this to your pack. You can hook this to your belt loop. So if you're in the woods doing something, you've got your paracord here ready to go. Maybe you got your knife right here. <clears throat> and everything's kept together in a nice, neat, orderly bundle. And you can have various setups of this. So this can be a grab and go kit. Maybe you got one in your vehicle, maybe one in your pack, you know, in your bug out bag, but this is how you should set it up. That way you always have paracord, don't have to fumble with knots and all those sort of things. So hopefully this tip helps you. And guys, remember to stay frosty, stay strapped, and always stay dangerous. Take care.